I would like to welcome all of you uh, in the live class of math. It's lesson number 65 for grade two mathematics. Uh, in the fraction, guys, we were uh, completing the testing zone of a uh, fraction chapter. And we finished too many questions from this exercise. Now we are going to complete question number four and question number five. Okay. I just uh, revised what we did yesterday. Uh, here we had to circle the figure which shows the fraction equal to two over five. Right, guys? So we check here, there was uh, not two or five, but there was 10 over, uh, four over 10. So we get to know that four over 10 is also equals to two or five. As you know, guys, if you divide this picture into oh, five uh, equal pieces, so the portion will be same for two or five. Let's suppose this is the one part, two part, three part, four part, and there are five parts. So two or five will be same as four over 10. So if you have one pizza and you are going to eat four, uh, if you make it and uh, divide it into 10 parts and you're going to eat four parts out of 10. So that would, that will be same that if you divide a pizza into five equal pieces, pieces and you're going to eat two part of them, right? So that's why we circled this one. And uh, question number two, where we need to write the fraction and the numerals. So there was three quarters. We know how to write a fraction uh, from worse to uh, its numerals because the first number is telling us no, uh, numerator, that is three, we write up in the numerator, then quarter means four, so we write four in the denominator. Four fifths, so four is representing numerator, fifth is representing denominator, four and five. Two eighth, two numerator, eight denominator, five tenth, five numerator and 10 denominator. Same, the next was to start uh, to write uh, the fraction in the words. So two third, we know that we always uh, write the first word in the word uh, in uh, words uh, as a cardinal number. So two, we write the same as two and three, we make it an ordinal and three in ordinal sense, we say third, okay? Guys, this is page number 94. Testing zone, page number 94, okay? Page number 94, it's written here also. You can check, it's written here also, page number 94, okay? All right, guys. So uh, we need to write which, uh, we need to write these fraction in words. So we write first, number as in cardinal, two, and then third, uh, the last, uh, the denominator as in ordinal number. Two third, like one whole, this was four and four, we know when numerator and denominator are same, that becomes one whole. This actually means four piece out of four. So that's mean one whole. This is five eighth. So five in the numerator, we write it as cardinal and eight is in ordinal uh, denominator. So we write it as an ordinal in that way. The next thing we have to do, that we have to arrange these fractions in order. Uh, begin with the smallest. Okay, guys. Before doing this, we need to write that. Okay. So, guys, we have already finished exercise where we have the unit fractions. These all are unit fractions. You can see these all are unit fractions, they have same numerator, but different denominator. If they have different denominator, uh, if they have same denominator, so we'll check the more the numerator, the bigger the fraction. But here we have different denominators, okay? In the unit fraction. I would like to you, I would like you to solve this. So uh, can you tell me the smallest fraction in four? 1 over 10, 1 over 3 or 1 over 8? Which is the smallest one here? Please uh, send your answers in the chat box fast. Which is the smallest one here? Uh, Hamid Abdurrahim is saying 1 over 3. Dr. Hajid is saying 1 over 10. Sharif Ahmad, 1 over 3. Ahmad Muhammad al Rufai, 1 over 3. Mm. 
Guys, you know one word three means? I am asking a smallest. I am asking a smallest. Look here. This is the smallest. Okay. I am asking the smallest one, not the biggest one. Mm -hmm. One over ten. Good. Umar Hasan Sami. Let let me ask Umar Hasan why he's saying one over three. Umar Hasan, can you hear me? Umar Hasan, can you hear me? Hello, Umar, can you hear me? Umar, can you hear me? Answer me fast. Umar, can you hear me? So guys, again, I repeat for those students who did not give their, uh, did, did not give answer correctly. The answer is actually one over 10, one over uh, 10 is the smallest one. Because we have studied here in the last, just, just we studied here that when we have same numerator, but different denominator, okay? And we have same numerator, but different denominator. So the more the denominator, the lesser the fraction, okay? And I also explained you in that way, if this is a chocolate bar, look, if this is the same chocolate bar, if you divide it one, two, three, four, if you divide it into five pieces and you eat one piece of that, here you have same chocolate, but now you divide into two equal pieces uh, and you ate one of them. And same chocolate if you divide into eight parts and you eat one of them. So if I ask you in which of the figure you eat less chocolate, the smallest part of the chocolate. So you will say, sir, in one over eight, because that was very small chocolate, sir, but you divided into eight pieces and you give me only one piece. So that was the smaller. And if I ask you, when did you eat more chocolate? the maximum part of the chocolate. So you will say in sir one over two because the chocolate was uh, this chocolate say size was same, but you divide it into two equal parts and I ate one part. That's mean I ate half of the chocolate. So we learned here, the more the denominator, the lesser the fraction. So when you have same numerator, like one, 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 look at the denominator, eight, two, five. If the denominator is bigger, that means the fraction is the smallest. Here, one over eight. In one over eight, eight is the biggest one in the denominator. That means this fraction is the smallest one. Then here, if you want to check the bigger fraction, so check the smaller the denominator, the bigger the fraction. Okay. In that way, we have to learn. Uh, we have learned how to do this. Now come again here. If you arrange these fractions in order to begin with the smallest, so you have to write the smallest one. So check out the denominator. Look here, the denominator, this is 10. Look, numerator are all one, 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 one. Now look at the denominator. This is 10, this is three, and this is eight. So 10 is bigger than eight and bigger than three also. So one over 10 is smallest among all, okay? If you need to write the smallest one, so write one here. One over 10. One over 10 is the smallest one. One 
over 10. This is 1 over 10. After 1 over 10, what should I write, guys? Yes? 1 over 8. 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 Why should I write 1 over 8, guys? Because 1 over 10 I have already written. Now I have two values, 1 over 3 and 1 over 8. In, yes. these, in these two fractions, if I check their denominators, it is 3 and it is 8. 8 is bigger than 3. That means yes. this is the smaller fraction because we have bigger in the denominator. Guys, we also know that denominator shows the total number of equal parts. That means 1 divided into 8 equal parts and 1 divided into 3 equal parts. Okay. So we are going to write here 1 over 8. This is 1 over 8. Then after 1 over 8, you are going to write 1 over 3. One over three. This is one over three. Coming to the next question, guys. Question number five, arrange these fractions in order begin with greatest. Look here, begin with greatest. Here, not starting with the smallest. That was starting with the smallest. You need to start here with greatest. So tell me what fraction should I write first? I'm going to open the chat. Yes, guys. Can you tell me which fraction is bigger here? 1 over 5. 1 over 5. 5. Yes, 1 over 5. Amado, Suleiman Saleh, Ahmad Yusuf, Bastik Fadi, Ahmad Malrufai. Very good. Very good, guys. Now your, your answers are correct. Mm -hmm. 1 over 5, 1 over 5. All right. After 1 over 5, what should I write? After 1 over 5, what should I write? After 1 over 5. 1 over 6. 1 over 6. Okay. 1 over 6. And after 1 over 6, Mama Faru, very good. Mm hmm. Very good, guys. Very good. You got it. You got it. So, guys, look here. We have to start with the greatest. We check the denominator. So, in the denominator, if we have a smallest value, that means the fraction is bigger. 10 is bigger, 5 and 6. 5 is smaller than all. That means 1 over 5 is going to be smaller among all. So, I will write here 1 over five first. Why one over five? Because one over five is the smaller one because it is having the smaller denominator. So it is the greatest fraction now. After one over five, there are two fractions, one over six and one over 10. So in one over six, it is having six denominator, it is having 10. So 10 is bigger than six. We need to write the greatest first, then the smallest. So we will write one over six first. Why 1 over 6? Because 1 over 6 is smaller or greater than 1 over 10. So we will write 1 over 6 here. And then we will write 1 over 10 in the end. Guys, I'm going to make a fraction sign. 
this is a friction slush. Is there any problem, guys? Hmm? No, 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 no. I don't have no. 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 You have to match a cover to a bottle to make one hole. There are some bottles and there are some caps. Okay. If you make one hole by adding these fractions, so you will find which cap belongs to which bottle. Okay. This is five over eight. Okay. I explain one of you. This is five over eight. Okay. If you want to make it whole, so you need to add something that should be equal to eight. Yes, guys, if you want to make, this is actually dash, right? If you want to make this five over eight, one. So that's mean you need eight in the numerator because eight already in the denominator, but you need eight in the numerator. So five plus what number? Five plus what number will give you eight? So can you tell me five plus what equals to eight? Yes. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. What is this? Three. Plus three. 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 Plus three. Guys, wait, 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 wait. I want to only. Uh, I want to be the number no, not four. Guys, wait, wait, wait. Those who are saying two, only they are allowed to speak. Okay. Those whose answers are two, that five plus two equals to eight. Okay, only they will speak. Who is saying two? Yes, five plus two. Who is saying two? Me. Not name. me. Name, name. Not me. Not me, sir. Me. I am. Yes. Me. Not me. I, guys. Don't you understand what I'm saying? Only those students will speak. I don't write it all. Only those students will speak who thinks the answer is two. Okay, five plus two equals to eight. Who thinks two? Hey, Not me. Not me. Not me. Dr. Hajar, he's, he was saying. I should ask him why he's saying two. Yes, Dr. Hajar Hussain. It's me, Amjad. Yes, this Amjad. is my mom's name. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, Amjad. Why you are saying two? Five plus two equals to what? Two. Mm -hmm. uh, three. Five plus two equals to what? Seven. So seven over eight equals to one? Or seven eight? Seven eight. Seven eight. Guys, this is a thing. If you add two in the five, so that will become seven. And that will become seven eight, not one. In order to make one, you need to have same numerator and same denominator. So five plus three will be equals to eight, okay? So you have to match this one with three over eight here. Five plus three, eight, eight over eight. Is that clear guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
sir. Very good, very yes. good, very good. Look here now. Yes, sir. Two over eight. This is two over eight. Now, two yes, plus. Look here. For forty-nine, I don't write it. Mm -hmm. What you don't write? Number forty-nine. Number forty-nine. I don't write it. Uh, page, page number forty-nine. Yes. Page number forty-nine. I can go back in that that much back. Guys, this is two over eight. Now you want to make it eight. Why? Because you know that. To make one whole, you need same numerator and same denominator. If it is two, so two plus what number will give you eight? Yes, two plus what number will give you eight? Seven. Two plus seven. Two plus seven. Guys, it is very easy. If you don't know how to do it, just minus two from eight, you will get to know this is eight. If you minus this number, you will find out that number. Eight minus two equals to what? Hmm. Eight minus two equals to what? Six. 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 Very good. Eight minus two equals to six. So you will write here six. Sir, I can do. Put nine. I don't write it. Put six here, and check whether it, it is the right answer or not. Two plus six equals to eight. Is it right or not? Add two and six and check whether it is eight or not. Yes. Two plus six equals to eight. Yeah. 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 Now check. Is there six over eight in the bottle? Yes, is there six over eight? Yes, yes, yes. yes there is six over eight. Yes. Okay, then match the line with match the line from two over eight to six over eight. Fast. Match the line. Hello, Mantar. Mantar. Yes, yes. You keep speaking something. Right now, what? Yes, I, as I told you, I don't write number forty-nine. I don't write it. I write only three, four, two. Page number forty-nine uh, for which chapter? Which chapter? Two chapter. Yes. Two chapter four. Subtraction, addition. And which? Uh, which? Number four. Page number forty-nine for what? I write. Uh, I write the the missing um like number one of ten, uh, one of three. Okay, I'm answering. Wait, wait, wait. If you miss any of the page, uh, if you don't have uh, any page completed, so you can go to the course material. There's uh there are lectures there are class works uploaded there so you can find there okay and if you don't find there you can message me on the WhatsApp I'll help you okay now guys this is one over eight so if you want to make one plus because there is eight that's mean you need eight in the numerator also so one plus dash equals to eight. Yes, guys. One plus dash equals to eight. Seven. 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 Very seven. good. Seven. Seven. Very good. One plus seven equals to eight. So you have to check: is there seven over eight? Yes, this is seven over eight. So. Sir, a big number. What the class materials are? I look at uh, this. One of ten and uh, one of six. You what check the, date? You check the date. Classwork is available with the dates. Okay. Okay. 
you check the date which class work you missed so uh, in every course title that date is mentioned 25th november or 24 october so with the help of that date you can check so guys this is how you have to complete this matching is it clear any problem hmm no no oh. yes yes very good now guys we are going to start a new chapter that is shapes okay open your books page number 97 page number 97 the chapter name is shapes page number 97 Open your books, page number ninety-seven. Did you open your books, guys? Page number ninety-seven. Open it. Yes. 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 All right, guys. So, guys, in chap uh, in shapes, we are going to study for the first the two D shapes. Okay. How much man is left? you will get to know once the period is finished okay yes guys uh, so we are going to study first the 2d shapes but before studying 2d shapes guys some important things you should know that what is vertex and what is side what is vertex and what is side guys every flat surface is called side you know a side can be curved also but a flat surface like you can put anything here you can put a glass here like this if you want you can put jug here okay you can put anything here it's a flat surface this is flat this is also flat so there are different size for different shapes okay there are different sides for different shapes let's suppose i draw a rectangle look this is a rectangle if i ask you how many sides are there so you can check the sides how you will check the sides i'll tell you so this is one side okay this is another side and there is one more side like this this is also one side one of the side and this is also one of the side so guys how many sides are there in a rectangle can you count five there are guys four side this is one okay four side two four side three four side so there are four sides these are the flat surfaces if you want you can uh, put a rectangle in other way also like uh, you can put anything here if it is in a vertical situation vertical if you place it vertical this rectangle if you place it verti vertical like this you can also place it like this okay so even you can put anything here or so these all are the four sides okay now uh, second thing is guys is corner second thing is what is corner do you know about the sides now the second thing you need to learn is about the corners you also say corners a vertex you also say corners a vertex so you have to check how many corners are there guys look at this this is the corner where a one line 
meets another line when a one side meets another side so you can see there is a corner this is the corner okay i can show you here with the help of line the corner look this is one line and this is another line this is one line okay and if i draw one line if one more line joined it so that is now corner it is now corner look here this is corner okay so in a rectangle you can see how many corners are there this line is meeting this line here this side meeting this side here one here also you can find when this side meeting this side here you sir, can also, yes sir, i don't complete the number 94 so complete 94 after the class it's available in the class work okay, okay. So guys, I was telling you about the corner. This is one, two, three, and this is four. So how many corners are there in rectangle, guys? Four. Three. Four. 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 We are not learning about the rectangle, and I will tell you about the rectangle also. What is rectangle? What is a square? But we are learning actually vertex. Uh, I mean corner and sides. So side is the flat surface of any two D shape, and corners are the point where two sides meet. Okay, where two sides meet. Like if I make it, if I complete it, this join. here and i join this this is corner and this is also now corner like this it is not meeting so that is that should be meeting like i can draw one more here for you like this One, two, three, and four. There are four corners. Okay, so I'll catch you from here, guys. Your class time is finished. Inshallah, I'll meet you in the next class. Take care. Bye bye. See you in the next class. Bye bye, sir. Bye bye. 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 Bye b